Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we are back with some more Fatal Frame. Uh, last time we uh, managed to uh, get, uh, we'll say, a mask that we needed. The blinding mask uh, to enter, we'll say, the door down at the bottom of that, that pit. And today, I plan on using the mask to, well, go ahead and see what's down at the bottom of the pit. Oh. Oh, hold on. But before we go ahead and get there, we're gonna have to go ahead and contend with this, uh, ghost here in the middle of the hallway. Uh, which is, it's, it's fine, you know, he's, he's coming towards us. And we're gonna be able to take care of him in, wow, two nice shots. There we go, we're gonna go ahead and deal with him. We've been seeing him quite a bit, and I believe, uh, his name, um, is The Bound Man. Let's go ahead and, I wanna, I wanna verify that here. Uh, we'll go under photos. Uh, it should be... Yeah, Bound Man. The guy in the, the rope hallway. Now, I don't know... I don't know if that's scripted or, or if that's a random thing. Because, I, like I said, I know that uh, there are random encounters in here uh, in the game. But I haven't been able to really say, hmm, I think we're going to go ahead and test it this way. Um, actually, which way would be the quickest way back to that... Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What would be the quickest way back to the... The area that, um, to, to get down into the pit. I don't remember where this door goes. Darn it! I don't think this is the way we want to go. No. Uh, that might be a quicker way. No. Yes. Yes, actually, I think it would be a quicker way. Okay, we'll go this way. We'll go through this door. Uh, and we'll see if, well, maybe something new will happen. Maybe we'll be like, oh, no, and we'll get attacked by a different type of ghost and... It'll be, it'll be great. Um, <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. I, I love getting attacked by malevolent spirits who want to suck my soul out. Um, oh, this, this area is always, always gives me, uh, I'll say the, the creeps just because of the way the, uh, uh, the camera goes and, and the, the, see, a part of the, um, one of the, part of the experience that's not translated. Oh, crap, I can't go back up through that door. All right, then, I guess we're going to go back. Um... Uh, let's try running. Let's see. Let's see if that triggers a ghost. Well, so far so good. Um, is uh, the part of the, part of the experience that's not um, that you guys don't get is uh, that rumbling. And every once in a while, the game does. Uh, it's like it's seemingly at random. Like well, I, I don't want to say sorry. Not seemingly at random, but there's no ghost. There's no indication that there's a ghost nearby, and yet I get a bit of a rumble. Um, now, you know, when there's a hidden ghost, you know, a lot of times you'll get the, the at least the blue filament. Um, but, uh, you know, in, uh, uh, when it comes to, uh, these rumbles, it's not even that. So I don't know if there's a hidden ghost that's really hidden or what. Uh, let's see, which way do we want to go to get to that, uh, area? If we go upstairs, then we gotta go downstairs to get to the other place. But we've opened up a door... <sighs> Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go the way that I know. You know, the the, the way that I, I I have it mapped out in my head. Uh, some of these new passageways that we um, we traversed, uh, you know, by going th through the walls and stuff. Oh, oh, hello. There we go. And one more shot to do. Whoa. Dang, you attacked really quick there. Now, that there, I'm pretty sure, was a random encounter. But that's okay. I was able to dispatch it with my quick thinking and... Yes, my quick thinking. And my my quick trigger fingers. Okay. Uh, so we've got the... Okay, yeah, we don't, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. Past the library, down the stairs back towards the candle room. Yes. There's probably, there was probably a much quicker way to get back there, but, um, as, as I said, as I said, you know, I'm, I'm not, we'll say, accustomed to the, um, the, the, the newer paths that we opened up yet. Uh, and as such, you know, I've, I just feel comfortable. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the place that I'm familiar with, rather than getting lost in the mansion and going the wrong way and going, oh crap, people, I'm sorry, and then having to cut out a bunch of stuff. I just figured, you know what, I'd go ahead and uh, waste your time with taking the long path. 
<laughs> uh, that, that realization that that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm sorry, everyone. I undid the latch on the door. Oh! This door was locked? Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, so I could have gone uh, this way. This is, uh, okay. So that's the door that was locked. We just undid the latch to the door. That's cool. Uh, this here is the, um, yeah, that's, that's the supply room. And then, uh, w there we go. We see the light coming in through, uh, the window up above. And this will lead us out to the, uh, sort of courtyard area. Um, wait, is that where we want to go? Oh, crap, I am so turned around. Yes, this is where we want to go, right? No, there's the kids' room, and then there's the... Oh, no, here we go, the, the, the candle room. I, I was getting mixed up. You go to the candle room, and then you go... Uh, to the, uh, the, the little courtyard. Okay. There we go. There we go. I've got my, I've got my bearings. Straight. Kind of. Maybe. Alright. Now, before we go ahead and go through there, uh, I think it's probably, probably a good idea to go ahead, uh, ahead and save our game. We're gonna, I guess we'll go with slot one. Uh, demon tag. That one's, that one was when we were only playing... Uh, it was about an hour ago. I don't think we're gonna be reloading that save game when there are more recent- What the heck? Okay. Well, we're definitely getting- uh, we're definitely on- we'll say on track to where we want to be going. The game is letting us know that with a nice little earthquake there. Alright. Be on your guard. Oh, it's shaking again. Um, I don't like the sound here. There's a, like, there's a bit of like a, a static sound that's like It's got like to a to sort of a rhythm. And it's the same kind of feeling that you get when there's a ghost about to attack you. Oh! Oh, that, there we go. We have a, a random encounter, maybe? Oh, there. Stupid head? There we go. I don't like the head because when it attacks, it comes fast. All right, so we've taken care of the head twice now. We'll see the ghostly activity is ramping up. All right, so now that we're back into this, uh, I don't even know. Holy crap. Come on, show yourself for a second. There we go. Oh, oh, Do you, is he saying brains? It sounds like he's saying brains. It's a ghost of a zombie. Oh! This is the, that wandering man that we were, we've were we been following, that sort of, um, the guy who's in the sort of the yellow-orange robes. Crap, crap. Okay, so he likes to warp a little bit off to your left and to your right. Oh, crap, there's a pillar in the way, there's a pillar in the way. Oh, crap! There we go. That was tense. That's a- that's a different ghost. I want to go ahead and- The blinding mask is the key to the door. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, I- what he was saying actually sounded like it might have been in Japanese, so I don't think I'll be able to- Make out what he was saying there, but, uh, the last thing, he was like, yeah, we know, we, we, we kind of been, uh, working on that, uh, guy, folklorist, okay. F folklorists, it's, it's the ghost belonging to the folklorist, that's why there's the apostrophe S. Uh, I don't think we've encountered the fol folklorist yet. Uh, well, I guess we just did, but, you know, before, before now we hadn't. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna go head on, head on down and, uh, have fun with this, this mask. Be like, hey, let's go, ho go ahead and open up the gates of hell, because that's probably what's gonna happen. Let's be very honest here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out that, uh, the, are you gonna let me down? No, maybe? No, you're really, okay, there we go. It, it was, it wasn't letting me go down. I was trying the action button, I was trying just walking, but... Um, yeah, we're gonna go down and we're gonna find out all this entire time the ghosts that have been trying to stop us 
have been the good ghosts, and they're, they're like, no, don't, because you're gonna unleash hell on the world. And then this, this game is actually the, um, the, the, the spiritual prequel to Doom. And then, you know, when hell gets unleashed and you just start blowing stuff up. Actually, I'd buy that. That'd be, that'd be kind of, uh, kind of be kind of fun. I, I, like, I, well, I guess it wasn't clear. I'd buy that idea or that game. Not both. I'd buy it both. I buy them both. There we go. All right. So we've got to go ahead and put the mask in place. So let's do that. Pretty good. Oh, no, there's no one here. Ah, oh. darn it. No, get off me. All right, we're gonna. Oh, crap. Where are you? There. Oh, there goes the stone mirror. All right, so we're gonna have to. We're definitely gonna have to heal up here. Okay, crap. Don't move. Don't move until you get a beat on her. Ah! It's like she, she just, like, warps right on top of you. There we go. So basically, with, with her, it's a little bit tricky because it's like you, you, you can't move. Because th then she, she's, uh, she knows how to find you. She can locate you. But... It's like you have to or else she's gonna It's like you have to or she's going to warp right on top of you. Which I think is I don't know, maybe maybe it's not cheap, maybe it's just I just need to learn how to overcome it. We'll see. I guess or maybe we won't. I don't know. Characters are engraved on the wall, a device for opening the door. Use the blinding mask. Yes. Let's see what's on the other side. What did I tell you? The door to the gates of hell. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what's on inside because that's a smart idea. Sure. Oh, this is uh this is this is not creepy in the least. I need to get uh, a better representation of my my surroundings here. So basically, it's just a rock tunnel. Alright, so we're, we're heading down the nice rock tunnel.
we catch you this time? No, can't, get, can't do any damage and we can't escape. Right, so we're now at a save point. I, I, I suspect we're probably done the night. So let's go ahead and save the game. Let's go ahead and, um, do we want to jump into slot two yet? Sure, why not? We'll go ahead and save up here. Demon Tag Rubble Room. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Demon Tag, this one here, four hours, 23 minutes in. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save over that one. There we go. Seven hours calamity. The calamity, the third night. I wonder how many nights there are. This place. I'm pretty sure Mafuyu went through that door. Yeah, so did you! Alright, so I I'm actually curious. Uh, how many pieces of that mirror do we have? We've got, like, what, two pieces, right? I think? Mirror piece. One, two. Okay, the piece of the legendary ho holy mirror uh, from uh, uh, Nerukami's shrine. This one here is from this is the folklorists. Um, okay. Uh, we have 20 spirit stones. We can start playing around with that a little bit more once we uh, actually unlock some of those features. Can we unlock any of those yet? I know we can't get the, um, the fully charged, uh, camera just yet, but bonus functions. We probably, yeah, we can afford, uh, pretty much all of these. Hmm. That might be helpful. Uh, let's see, make ghosts more visible for a limited duration. I guess that, I don't know, if, if it allows you to see them, like, if they, when they teleport, then that'd be cool, but if they're just teleporting, I don't see how that's really that helpful. Uh, I think Paralyze is probably the best, and you know what? It's, it's, you can see it in the cost, it's 20,000. Um, you know what, I'm wondering if we should, uh, unlock that bonus function of the camera. Paralyze, and then we can, if we, if we happen to want to use our, um, our stones, you know, to, to, to sort of get an advantage to, to keep us alive, we can go ahead and do that. And we can always upgrade the camera's max value, uh, actually, how much is that? That is, uh, 36,000. Yeah, I, I'm thinking third night, let's, um, just in case, we bro broke, we're gonna, uh, do we want to enable paralyze? No? No, not yet. Okay, so we opened it up. I actually don't know how to use this. Um... So I'm assuming before I take a shot, I need to... Uh, enable it? Or activate it? It's probably another button to that. Uh, you know what, actually, give me a second, I'm gonna... Uh, f fiddle around and I will... Uh, I'm just gonna experiment for a second and I'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and en enable it because that's basically our only one that we have right now only bonus function and that shows up in, up in the top uh, top right right next to sp uh, SPE you can see the the symbol representing the paralyze uh, function uh, then uh, when we bring up our camera which is not not you, you don't do using that button um, you'll notice down at the bottom right there's a bit of that sphere uh, and we can go ahead and use the bonus function by hitting our uh, left trigger and then that will go ahead and, uh, well, that'll go ahead and use uh, the paralyze function. We can go ahead and use that to paralyze some 
uh, ghosts. I don't want to use it uh, right now. We're, we are going to go ahead and use that uh, if we get into a pinch. Um, I, sh I should probably look at this stuff again. Uh, blinding mask. You're going to just stay there? Cool. Uh, what about the door? Can we open the door back up? We can. Well, that's interesting. I'm kind of curious. I want I want to see what's down here. Can we can we leave now that we're in here? All right, so this is an area we can uh, we can explore. Uh, I don't know if we want to. It might be uh, there is a, a picture here that we can take. Uh, I, I'm gonna change my film though. I'm gonna go back down to the uh, Type 14 film. Uh, just because it's, you know, low-quality film, and that's what, kind of what we want to be using. Um, right here. What have we got? Munakata. Who is Munakata again? Was that the folklorist? I can't recall. Either way, that's good for some, uh, some, uh, bonus score. Oh. Oh, hello! Two of- Okay, I can damage both at the same time. This is, uh, good to know. Crap. I wasn't able to get the... Oh, was I able to get the second one in the shot? Nope. Okay, there we go. Dang, okay, so we actually get attacked by two ghosts now at a time. Well, that's great! I see something shiny off in the, the distance, though. So. Wait. Something's still here. Three? Where are you? Okay, you're hiding right back there. Okay, one more shot should do it for you. Dang. Now, I hope they don't just sort of keep spawning. Because that would kind of suck. <laughs> well, I, I guess it would make sense because we came in here and it was supposed to be a scary place, right? You know, all these hands and stuff. I guess it would make sense to have this area sort of blocked off by, you know, large numbers of ghosts until you could maybe fulfill some other um, objective. Cool, we got an earthquake going. That's cool. Uh, what, what, what's here? There's something on the ground. Herbal medicine! That's good, because we actually used up some of ours, and... I'd like to, uh... To restock a little bit. A couple more items here. So yeah, I'm glad we're coming this way. We're, we're, we're getting... Items. Something shining at my feet. A spirit stone. I'm really hoping for a stone mirror. Really hoping for a stone mirror. Oh. All right, so I'm guessing uh, all the earthquakes, um, there's something that looks like a scroll among the fallen rocks. I'm guessing all the earthquakes have sort of um, collapsed in the tunnel. The calamity. Oh, yeah, I'm glad we came this way because we're definitely going to need this. Uh, in the year 1837, on the 13th day of the 12th month, so December 13th, uh, the strangling ritual failed and caused the calamity. Malice escaped and 1,347 souls were lost. Now, I can't tell. Malice escaped. Are they saying, like, the idea of malice? Or are they saying, is it a name? It's at the beginning of a sentence, so it's hard for me to just be able to say one way or the other. But, yeah, we'll definitely want to hang, uh, we'll say, keep, keep note of this because we're going to need this, um, at some point. I put the old document in my file. Oh, crap. Okay, no, no, we're running. We are running. Run away from the ghost. Uh, I know it is, uh, possible to escape from the ghosts. Uh, you have to run a significant distance away. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly. Now, how did I miss that the first time? Okay, I, I still hear it. 
No, it's still coming for us. Will it pause when I try to read? Where the girl pointed, there is a book that seems to belong to the folklorist. A research scrap. Moonshrine. No, actually, that, that's, that's getting closer. I think. Okay, we're just gonna run out the door. Uh, I'll read the, the I'll read the thing about the moon shrine and, uh, as soon as I, uh, the the combat music stops. All right, all right, combat music has stopped. Let's go ahead and uh, read. Um, where is that? The something about the the moon shrine, right? Like it, it would be nice if you could just sort of put things, you know, in uh, in order. We got the calamity here now. Where the heck is the moon shrine thing? That, oh, that's cool. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't need to know where it is. Oh crap! Was it listed as an old diary scrap? Okay, it's one of the many uh, writings, we'll say, uh, that are just called research scrap. Uh, this one here mentions the the moon shrine by uh, Ryozo Munakara, research document. I'm pretty sure this is the one that we just found. Okay. The small shrine in the atrium of the Humero Mansion is called the Moon Shrine. It enshrines the maidens who were sacrificed in rituals. Inside the Moon Shrine is an empty well called the Moon Well. The moonlight shines down to the bottom of a bottom on the night of the ritual. Okay. The Rope Shrine Maiden is supposed to purify her body with moonlight at the bottom of the well. The bottom of the well is connected to the basement, and only the maiden uses this path to reach the basement. Oh. So if we take this, yeah, there we go, some more, foreshow more foreshadowing. According to the legend, the first rope maiden was buried in the moon shrine. However, no body or documents were found inside. I wonder where the first rope maiden has been enshrined. enshrined. Wait, rope maiden. So are you saying that it wasn't? She wasn't buried there? Hmm. Not too sure, but we are actually out of time for today, so we're going to have to go ahead and end things here. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, uh, next time, we're going, going to uh, probably head back towards uh, the well, the shrine, and stuff like that, and check those things out. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, you like the content, and you'd like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments section, and until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.